guys what's up welcome back to another vlog it's maggie if you're new to my youtube channel we are going up to dinner tonight this is the last week hello this is the last weekend of summer it's labor day weekend and i was like oh my god i have to vlog the last week of summer i was watching my old videos the other day and i watched my last weekend of summer 2019 and i was like it was so nostalgic but we just got to the south end we're gonna go grab some dinner i'm wearing levi's from shop ellie grace white tank just a belt and then this jerf avenue jacket and these new sunnies that i got from madewell they sent them to me and they're so cute don't mind the trash bags of clothes those are my clothing donations that i have to drop off tomorrow i'm excited to go to dinner because we're trying a new place that we never tried before Hey guys, good morning. We just went for a walk, didn't we? And now I'm gonna do a little morning meditation. I need to be better at like chugging water first thing in the morning when I get up because I feel like I used to be really good at it and I would get so much water in when I first get up and then I don't know what happened but like I stopped doing that and I just feel like I definitely feel the effects throughout the day so I just chugged so much water I like feel full from it <laughs> and I'm about to do a meditation like I said but last night the dinner was so good I wanted to tell you guys about it because we didn't I didn't vlog after we left the restaurant because we just came home and got in bed but it was so good it was like tapa style like I don't like like shareable stuff when I'm with a lot of people but if it's only two people it's fine so it's like a perfect date night spot and it was so good and it's Italian so you get like all those really yummy dishes but they're not going to be like huge and you don't leave after feeling like really full and sick so it was so good we got the arancini the stuffed peppers we got a cheese board we got oysters and then we got this really yummy pasta and they bring you bread it was so yummy and i got a glass of orange wine and it was delish so i highly recommend going there we didn't make a reservation i think usually they're pretty busy that restaurant whenever i drive by it i always see like so many people there but they had two spots for us at the bar which was really nice because i love sitting at the bar when i go out so that was super fun and somebody wants to clearly play right now but mommy gets to do meditation in the room. I started this book last night. It's called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. It's really good and I'm excited to read it a little bit more. I got the new road strawberry peptide and I realized this morning it smells like strawberry what's that candy I said starburst yeah it smells like a strawberry starburst and it's actually really really good they've upped their packaging and the formula because I I got it right when it came out and it like was a little bit gritty but then they've been sending me the new flavors and they smell so good and they don't get gritty and the packaging is different. So the old packaging kind of got dirty. It was like more of like a matte packaging and that one's shiny. And um, I really like it. But we just went to Blue Bottle, got a little morning coffee because we don't have any groceries at home. We have no milk, nothing. We couldn't even make coffee or make any food. So we're just going out and about this weekend. I got a cold brew with almond milk because I panicked and now I kind of wish I got something more like creamy like like an ice latte yeah. you know what was yours Linola yeah do you like it yeah it's the best good Milo what are you doing and Milo got to come for the ride he loves going in the car it's so funny he just has his head out the window look Yay! I ordered a bunch of waters and stuff off GoPuff this morning because my water filter that I had broke. It like fell on the ground 
the other night when I was cleaning up the kitchen and it like cracked and broke. We haven't had water. We don't have one of the things in your fridge that fill up your water. I've had them at, I had it at my last apartment, but I don't have it in the fridge at this apartment. And I, obviously my water filter broke. So I just ordered a bunch of these waters, but I'm looking for a new water filter system because i've seen like all these tiktoks about how the brita like doesn't work and it doesn't actually filter your water and i am just really i don't know i'm in the in the process of looking for a new water filter so if you have any that you recommend leave a comment down below because i feel like one thing that you might not realize that is actually important to be more cautious of is the water you're drinking and the quality of the water because some of these like filters don't actually even work and um, yeah i'm just kind of like looking for the best one i guess so let me know when you like if there's a filter out there that you like and recommend and i'm also gonna make a little smoothie because i need to go grocery shopping and mac and i just obviously left and got coffee but i was like instead of getting food from somewhere because i honestly don't even know what I would go get other than like a bagel or like a bacon egg and cheese so i'm gonna make a little smoothie i didn't just want to like get something that was not going to be like healthy and i'm gonna make a smoothie with flax we have some coconut water and then i'm gonna do some protein powder and just some fruit honestly so nice right now being in the city this weekend because nobody is here and so I'm like driving around there's no traffic I'm getting around so quick so I just thought because Max is gonna go get lunch with one of his friends and I was like I've been wanting to go to Back Bay and I've been wanting to like walk around and go to a few stores but I haven't done it because I it's just like so busy all the time that I'm like I don't want to drive all the way there and then deal with the traffic and deal with parking and all that stuff so I'm like you know what I'm gonna go today and I'm gonna go do all the stuff that I wanna do. But I just got to the gas station and I thought that this line was cash only, but it's not, I don't think. I need to get gas. I'm on, I have 11 miles right now and then I also have to get new windshield wiper fluid because I'm low on that as well. I'm like the type of person where I'm constantly using it. Like I swear my windshield wiper fluid runs out so quick because I always do it. I always feel like my windshield gets so dirty and I like go through it so fast. walking back to my car right now <laughs> I just did a little shopping and I actually didn't even expect to buy anything but they had two pairs of shoes that I wanted in my size so I'll show you guys those in a sec but this street that I'm on right now is so stunning it's called Calm Ave if you're not from Boston but it's like right in downtown like in Back Bay and it's so pretty and I love it so much and I want to live here one day <laughs> and I was just telling Mac I'm like before we move out of the city we're moving to back bay and i need to live like in a brownstone i need to be able to walk everywhere i feel like this area is just so pretty and i just have loved it forever <laughs> and so anytime i come here i love to just like walk and look at all the cute little apartments just leaving the store right now i will show you guys the shoes that i got when i got home when i get home but I always like will record a clip and I'll just talk about stuff that I never talk about or just like will refuse to talk about on the internet and then I will record it talk about everything I want to talk about and then delete the clip because I get so like nervous and weird so I don't know I like don't know why I do that and I feel like I just think way too much sometimes about like what I'm saying on YouTube because I get scared that it's going to be taken the wrong way and people are gonna like get offended and like twist my words and stuff, I don't know. So that's something I'm working on being better at though, is just like being 
myself again because I feel like I get so many comments of people being like, Maggie, I miss your vlogs from 2018 when you were in college. Like, yeah, I didn't give a fuck about what I was saying when I was in college. Like, I never had gotten hate on any of my shit. I just started YouTube. I was like living my best life. I didn't even care about what people thought of me at all. Like, I still am confident now when I don't like care that much about what people say, but I'm like always so conscious about the words that come out of my mouth and like what I speak because of the way that it can just get perceived by people on the internet now that I've like been doing it for five years. I guess I just like overthink my content and then it gets, I feel like people then are like your content sucks and yada yada yada, you know? Also, I need to like not read stuff that is said about me on the internet, but it gets hard, you know? Like, if you had thousands of people saying shit about you in your life, like, you would read it too, you know? And I feel like it's just this constant battle of like trying to be myself and also like acting a certain way because I don't want people to comment on things, you know what I mean? I don't know. But basically where I was going at was I'm gonna show my shoes when I get home and I've always been so weird about like showing stuff that I buy, like designer purchases. I don't know why. I just get really weird about it, like doing uh, like unboxing or something like that because I just don't wanna come off in like a materialistic way even though people say all the time that they think I'm like materialistic and I spend too much and like people literally think that I'm in debt like the craziest things are said <laughs> so I don't know I'm just like I want to show the shoes that I got and I but I don't want it to come off as like braggy or anything but I know that like a majority of you 95% of you are like really sweet and you don't care and you don't think these things at all and I am gonna get comments even on this video like really sweet comments of you guys being like Maggie like don't listen to people who are negative and this and that but I don't know it is hard when like everything you do is just like always there's something to say about it so I feel like over the past few years I've just gotten so like careful about what I say and what I do and then I feel like that's gonna help it and make the situation better but it really doesn't because then people are like your content just sucks and you don't show anything and it's not relatable and blah, blah, blah. so I'm just working on I don't know being more open and being myself and like kind of having that same mentality that I did back when I started YouTube of just like not caring what people think but also it's weird because I don't want to show I get weird about showing things because I'm also like realize that it's not relatable to just go out and go shopping not that I like shop all the time which I know people are gonna say something about that also but I don't know <laughs> there's just so many things that are just going through my head and I just figured that I would talk about it and not delete the clip because I always get so scared and weird but yeah I don't know that's just something that I did want to talk about because I do want to be more open with you guys and talk about what goes on in my head instead of just like showing things and being like Also my hair is like starting, oh, I love my new haircut, but it's starting to get like greasy. I haven't washed it since I got it done, which was like two days ago. And I was like looking at my hair, I'm like, ew. I guess it doesn't look that bad. Like I have shiny hair already, so I guess you can't really tell that much. Like what's grease and what's not. It was so nice to just walk around downtown and have it be like have there not be that many people like usually when I'm driving home from back bay there's so much traffic and I'm, I haven't sat in traffic at all and it just feels so nice to be able to like drive around the city and get from point A to point B and not have it take like 35 minutes like I literally just zipped home it took me like 10 minutes popped in American provisions on my way home and I picked up some stuff just to have for little like snacks when I get hungry. Buffalo chicken pasta, which looked really, really good. Haven't tried that yet before, but I'm excited. Haven't tried this either, the street corn salad. That looked really good. I got some of their chicken salad. I love to put this in wraps. I love to have it on its own with crackers. And it's just like an easy way, obviously, to get some protein. 
And then we have wasabi peas. These are my favorite little snacks. And I got some crackers as well. I just got all undressed and I realized I didn't even give you guys like a proper unboxing. Well, I did one for TikTok, but I already opened up the shoes. So I'll just try them on and show you guys. I got two pairs. I got the slingbacks in beige and black. These are just the classic beige and black. They have a seasonal pair right now that are like a cooler tone beige but I really wanted these ones instead. And then I also got just a plain black pair of ballet flats. Perfect shoes for the fall. I love them. And also I was really surprised because I have like wider feet. I'm gonna try on the shoes and show you guys what they look like. I have wider feet and these fit perfectly. I'm a size 39 and these are true 39. They fit like a glove, they stretch a little bit. So if you're interested in getting either pairs of these shoes, they fit true to size. Because they also have a lot of like vintage styles of the slingbacks, also the flats, that I've looked at before. I never knew what size I was, so it's good to know. Like when you go and try them on, it's good to try them on in person to see. Um, so if you have a store near you, I definitely recommend doing that because I feel like it would make it easier when you go to buy like a vintage pair. Okay, you guys can barely even see this, but these are, what the flats look like obviously like not with my robe but they're super cute i really like them a lot and i just love how they're plain black and quilted they're very timeless and i just love how classic they are and then these i cannot wait to wear this fall with like a little skirt they even look really good with jeans like i tried them on with today these are just so cute and i just love them I know they might not be for everybody, but I think they're adorable. Mm. There's a lot of I just got in the sauna and I was really good about being consistent with it. <laughs> and then I haven't done it in a little bit, but I'm gonna set a 30 minute timer. And it's currently 117 degrees. I made a tea before I came in here it's a ginger lemon tea and I added fresh squeezed lemon and it's so good I like need something that's gonna help me because I'm like really bloated I ate all that stuff that I showed you guys from American provisions like the pasta salad the chicken salad and the corn like I put a little bit of each on my plate and I ate that and it like made me so bloated after and then Mac and I got lobster rolls so I'm gonna drink this I have electrolytes in this water and I'm gonna just relax. What I do when I'm in the sauna, so I have this towel, obviously, that I'm wearing, but I bring an extra towel, like a little hand towel like that, because my face sweats so much that I like to like dry off my face and use it for that. Because for some reason, like I hate sitting here <laughs> and like dripping. So that's my little sauna hack, is to always bring an extra towel hi my little loves good morning it's sunday oh, i'm so excited for today because i'm gonna go to the grocery store finally and get some food we have literally no food like i said yesterday so i'm gonna go shopping today and pick some stuff up and i'm very excited to have a stocked fridge i also want to clean it out so we're gonna do that just got ready for the day. I'm wearing a Lululemon Align little outfit. And sweatshirt is from Sporting Rich. And then I'm wearing these Adidas sneakers. Not Adidas, um, Asics. <laughs> and then I'm wearing Asics. Why can I like, why is my brain not working this morning? We just got to Greystone and I got a iced dirty chai with almond milk. And it's very chai today. They definitely didn't miss on the chai. And then I also got a breakfast sandwich. They have these on the weekend and they're so good. It's called a cheddar bomb. A cheddar jalapeno biscuit with bacon and egg. You can add avocado too, but the bacon is cooked in chili oil. So it's like a little bit spicy and it's like peppery. It's so good. So I'm really excited for this. I haven't had like a bacon egg and cheese in so long. I was craving it yesterday. You know, but the other place that we used to go to. Yeah. Mike and Patty's. 
but looks bomb. I have to upload two YouTube videos. I have to finish up the links, the title, the description, and the thumbnail for two videos. That's all I have to do. But what I like to do is I like to go through, like once the video is uploaded to YouTube, I like to just go through and watch it over again and like pay attention to things that I'm wearing, things that I talk about, things that I show, and then make sure that everything is linked in the description of the video. So I have two vlogs that I'm gonna do that for right now. And then I just wanna get stuff organized, maybe do my closet today, cause I've been wanting to do that for a while. Just opened up this, I'm doing a Dutch test. I have to do this tomorrow or the next day, but I'm not allowed to have caffeine. But the day that I do it, basically this is gonna check my hormones and I'm really excited to figure out like what, not like what's wrong with me, but I'm just excited to see like what comes back from the test. I did a GI test, which is like a gut test and I sent that in last week. So I have a meeting with my doctor. She's like a functional medicine doctor starting in October. Once I have all of my tests like sent in and completed and she gets the results back and then we're gonna meet, talk about everything. And then she's gonna give me supplements to help balance my hormones. I was on like a pill birth control for like six or seven years. And ever since I got off of it, I feel like that's when I started to notice acne and just like hormonal issues. And I worked with her back in 2020 and I started to get acne again last year, but obviously my skin's all cleared up now. And even though I cleared my skin with like products and by taking the clear stem acne supplement, I wanted to like run tests to make sure that everything was like, okay, make sure I can fix everything from the inside. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Also, I need to work on balancing my blood sugar. I feel like my cortisol gets raised in the morning because like my blood sugar levels are probably crazy because I have been drinking coffee on an empty stomach and I don't eat right away when I wake up. So that's something that I definitely need to work on that I already know. I'm gonna get some work done and upload these videos. Also, it's like so <laughs> crazy how quiet the city is like it's so nice and i'm so glad that we decided to stay home this weekend because we got invited to nantucket with well emma and peyton are there and graydon's there too and they told us to come and we were just like i was like i want to chill and i just want to be in boston like when no one's here and like get stuff done around the house and i just want to say that i feel like with social media nowadays and everybody just like always traveling and doing stuff constantly especially like on the weekends i feel like everybody goes out to dinners and goes out and drinks and goes on vacation all the time and although i do think that those things are fun and it's nice to treat yourself and like get dressed up and go to a dinner and travel and stuff like that i do also think it's important to not feel like you need to do all of those things just because that's what everybody else is doing on social media and I think that it's important to also like rest and recharge and it's okay to say no to things, you know? So I just want to talk about that. I feel like this summer I have really been in tune with just how I've been feeling and stuff like that. And I've said no to a lot of things that normally in the past I wouldn't have just because I have been very, I don't know, I feel like I've been selective of like where I'm putting my energy and it's okay to say no to things and like turn down trips and opportunities and nights out with people because you wanna like focus on yourself and you wanna rest and stuff like that. I feel like this summer I've been really just trying to tap in and like channel, <laughs> this probably sounds crazy, but I'm trying to like, be more grounded and I feel like I'm, I've just been like working a lot on myself and just doing things that make me feel good and I've been reading a lot more and I've been like cleaning out my space and I feel like doing things that I wouldn't normally do if I was just like constantly go, go, go. And 
I feel so much better because before the summer started, I feel like I was in a place where I just felt almost like I was in my body, but I like wasn't myself. And I felt very stressed and anxious. And I kind of felt like I had no sense of like direction. And it was definitely because I was doing things that I didn't actually want to do. And I was overworking myself and I wasn't like keeping the promises that I would make to myself. I just feel like when you take the time to slow down and get present, like all the answers come to you type thing. I don't know. I don't really know where I was going with that, but I just wanted to basically say I'm so happy that I was home all weekend and my I was just on the phone with my mom and she was like, how was your weekend at home? Like, was it relaxing? And I was like, honestly, yeah, like I'm so glad that I did this instead of like going away for the long weekend and then coming home and jumping right back into work on Tuesday. Like I feel grateful that I just had the time at home to relax like last night. Oh my God, I didn't vlog last night. I wish that I did. I left my camera outside of the sauna, which was all the way in the basement and I'm all the way on the top floor. And I sat in bed and I watched The Parent Trap and Mac was watching college football in the basement. And I just like had the most relaxing night. I took the best shower. I got in bed at like eight o'clock, watched The Parent Trap, watched some YouTube and I just like chilled. And it was so nice. But anyway, enough of the ranting. I'm going to get some work done and upload these videos. <laughs> I'm going through linking everything that's in my video. I just watched over the video again because I was like so nervous about what I said in it. It was like my organization blog that I posted a couple weeks ago. If you haven't seen that video. Well, a couple weeks ago. I filmed it a couple weeks ago. I'm posting it now. By the time you see this video, it'll be up like a few days ago. But... Yeah, I was like so nervous about that video because I was like talked about like the couch and just like cleaning and all that stuff. And I was like, oh my God, I don't want people to like give me shit for like complaining about the couch being dirty and stuff like that. I feel like in that video, I like tried to open up more and just show like real things that were going on instead of just showing like clothes and stuff like that. So I was like, ended up really liking the vlog even because i've been like putting it off for the past few days like uploading it because i've been like scared which i don't know why because it was honestly one of my favorite vlogs that i've posted in a little bit just because i feel like i was like talking about <laughs> just like real stuff and not just like showing clothes and stuff like that so i don't know i really like it and i'm excited to upload it and I'm just like going through and linking everything now. I have this thing called the Shop My, which is in the description of all of my videos. And it is basically this like website where I have like shelves and I'll save everything that I talk about, everything that I wear, everything that I show in my vlogs. I save it to my shop my. So if you ever have any questions about anything, like earrings, shoes, clothes, home items that you ever see in my vlogs, chances are it is linked on my shop my. So you're able to find everything. I just want to quickly show you to in case you haven't looked at it yet. So this is my earring or like my jewelry shop my shelf <laughs> and i just have like all of my earrings i have my everyday that i always wear these hoops i need to add my new ones that i just got but i wear these 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 sometimes i wear those i just got a new pair so i'm gonna link them these are all of my statement earrings from heaven mayhem i have my a few other pairs of hoops that i wear some of my ring concierge stuff Jennifer Fisher, Orium, all of that. And then we have all the shoes. We have stuff that's on my bar cart. We have Milo's, which I need to update Milo's because I did get him a new leash on Amazon, which is on my storefront. I have makeup. We have bath, bedroom, clothes, skin, kitchen, home. This was from my Revolve Collection shoot. We have some everyday makeup, purses, candles, accessories, perfume, hair, Amazon, what's in my bag. I started a fall 2023. 
morning routine stuff and I did a little wedding one. I have a few weddings this fall, so I'm gonna be adding to that. But yeah, if you're ever looking for anything, you can just click on my shop my. I'm actually looking for this link because I talked about this in my video. This is my fruit bowl <laughs> that I have in my kitchen. So I'm gonna link it for you guys from Jenny Kane. Oh, I do have a Jenny Kane discount. It's Maggie 15. You can use for 15% off of their website. I have this basket that I love. This is all my throw blankets that I have. Bath mats. You guys get the gist. I'm about to go do a sauna because I never ended up showering this morning. Like when I first thing when I got up, which I usually do that and then I do my skincare. And I haven't done it yet. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do a sauna. So since it is like a little bit later in the day now. And then I'm going to do my skincare. But I'm just putting some electrolytes into my water right now. Which is very important before the sauna. I do the Element Orange Salt Electrolytes. I love these. And they just help rehydrate you. That was just one of the hottest saunas that I have done in a really long time. Oh, but it felt so good. I'm so glad that I'm done with it and can like shower and stuff now. I really want to get into, I need to get into a better routine of like my workouts and stuff because I, the past couple of days haven't felt as like strong and my skin hasn't felt as like tight in my arms and legs and stuff and I just need to get back in my routine. I fell off my routine of working out with my trainer because we were just traveling this summer and he was doing traveling. Also, I did traveling. So I think I like our weeks weren't matching up and stuff like that. So it just got all messed up and I was like doing really well at going to Pilates and yoga. And I also fell off of that after coming back from Oregon but it's okay it's all good i just know that i want to like get back on track but i really i kind of want to get a treadmill for the house because i don't really need much like i have a equinox membership which is like 250 dollars a month and i never go and i feel like those memberships like they are worth the money because you get all of the classes that they offer for free they're all included and then you get the gym and then you have like the sauna the steam room stuff like that so it does have a lot included if you use your membership and you go like every single day but i just like don't go i get such bad anxiety when going to the gym or even like thinking about going to the gym because equinox in boston is like one of the most popular gyms that everybody goes to especially the one in seaport which is the one closest to where i live and it's just like i get such bad anxiety i do not want to go to a class there i like refuse to go to the gym the only thing i have my membership for basically is to use the treadmill and i don't even go and it's such a waste of money and when you add up how much the membership is for a whole entire year it's like more expensive than a treadmill so if i just got a treadmill and i put it in the basement i have so much space where the sauna is that I could just have a treadmill, I could come down here, I could do 12 through 30 while my sauna is heating up, get in the sauna, and then I'm good. And then I have all of my like bala bangles and stuff like that I could do at home Pilates. I am a member of like three different ones. I think I've paid for like the annual Melissa Wood Health, the form of Pilates one, and then yeah, I think that's it actually, those two. But I realized that I'm just like I don't know, I feel like I'm wasting money on this gym membership because I'm like, I really want to go do 12 through 30, but I'm like anxiety about going to the gym. I'd rather just do it in my house, you know? So <laughs> that's just my thought for right now. I think I got a package though that Mac just told me about. He had to sign for it when he was going to bring the dogs out. I'm pretty sure I got more wine. Also don't mind, college football is on today, but I got wine sent to me from Santa Margarita, which I'm so excited about. They sent me their Pinot Grigio, which is my favorite. And then they also sent this red wine right here, which I've never tried before. I've had the rosé and it's really, really good, but they sent this as well, three bottles of that. And then they sent their Prosecco. And I obviously have this little wine thing down here that was here when I moved in. And I was like, I wanna fill it. So they sent me a box and it was so generous and sweet. 
So now when people come over, I have like wine and stuff like that, whatever anyone's in the mood for. Ooh, I'm so excited about this. Hampton Water scent rosé. And I have another package coming in next week from one of my favorite wine brands of all time. And I think that's it for the wine shelf for right now. But we have some rosé adding to the collection. Also, if you're a wine drinker, comment down below your favorite wine because I'm always looking to try some new ones. And also, the other day actually when I got my Santa Margarita package, I also opened up, they sent the company that runs their gifting and stuff, also does the PR for 21 Seeds, this tequila right here. And I posted it on my Instagram story and a lot of you guys were saying how good the cucumber jalapeno one is and I'm really excited to try it. I feel like it just would be perfect for a spicy margarita. And then they also sent over an orange one as well, but I'm excited to try those. And I feel like I have a really good, like stocked up bar cart right now because you guys know I love hosting. So I just always like to have everything on hand so when people come over, if they want to drink, they can have what they want, make what they want. Hey y'all, to the grocery store we go finally. I'm like so sick of not having healthy foods around the house and just like having to eat out constantly because I feel like it's been making me super bloated. And like I woke up this morning, I was like, why am I so bloated? I haven't been like bloated like that in the longest time. And I definitely feel like it's from how much I've been eating out because I haven't been going to the grocery store. I've been like avoiding it, honestly. Because every time I go, it's always so busy and I've just been like putting it off. And then the second that I am like, oh shit, I need to go, I am like tired. And I'd rather like do anything but go. So I was like, I need to just get it over with and get it done right now because I've been talking about it for like five days. Also, I feel like what I was talking about before about like my blood sugar levels, I feel like the fact that I have a lot of caffeine in the morning and I don't eat that much and I'm not having like balanced meals throughout the day and like eating frequently, I'm like letting myself go a while before eating and then I'm getting really hungry and that's making my blood sugar levels like spike and crash and stuff and I just feel like it's been making me so tired like in the afternoon and stuff and, <laughs> and I just want to go and get healthy foods I want to make like a pasta salad or something to have at home on hand so when I'm in the position of being hungry and like needing something to eat in the afternoon or even something for lunch I can just go in the fridge. I have a lovely pasta salad. Those are super easy to make and have in your fridge. And I swear they get better as the days goes on because all of like the dressing and stuff is like marinating with the pasta and the vegetables and stuff. So I really wanna make one of those. I also wanna do Mexican tonight. I've been craving, oh my God, I was watching these TikToks of these burritos and it was like ground beef and it just looked so good and it had this like chipotle sauce and i was like Ugh, i need that so i want to do like some sort of like ground beef thing mac is allergic to shrimp because i've been really wanting shrimp tacos lately i don't know why i've been like craving them i was texting my friend kaylee last night and we both she was like i want the kylie jenner shrimp tacos i was like me too like shrimp tacos just seem like they would be delicious but he's allergic to shrimp so we can't have that i'm just excited to go stock up the fridge and just like get it done usually i don't go to the grocery store on a sunday either because it's always so busy in boston i feel like not a lot of people are going to be there hopefully because tomorrow's labor day so i feel like people are away um, a lot of people are like going out to dinner and stuff because it's the long weekend So hopefully we go And it's not busy And I can just get in and out <laughs> really quick Little grocery haul I got stuff to make a green juice so we have 
cucumber, not cucumber, celery, cilantro, and spinach. And then I got this Coco June vanilla yogurt. I love this for smoothies. I love the coconut cult for just like having it in the morning alone. Very good natural like probiotics. And lemons, vanilla almond milk. These are my favorite flour tortillas. They have very minimal ingredients in them. So I love to do like tacos and stuff with these. And tonight I'm gonna make ground beef tacos. We have some almond butter, some of this raw cheddar cheese, and then we have medjool dates, some coconut waters. I love these Mary's crackers as like a snack in the afternoon with like cottage cheese or even some of the this cheese like cut up. Bone broth, tomatoes, I, these heirloom tomatoes look so good. So I got a few of those, a pepper for my pasta salad, ginger for the green juice, avocados, bacon, eggs, orange juice, and more almond milk. And then we have mini cucumbers, pico and guac, some gluten-free English muffins, which are gonna be so good with almond butter, like very toasted, and some jam on top. And then I got some mango for smoothies. I love the Olipop Vintage Cola, it's my favorite flavor, so I got a pack of that. And then some sourdough bread. So that is everything that I got. I'm making like tacos or maybe like little taco plates for dinner. And I just got done with the taco meat. It smells so good. I did a taco seasoning. I just made one with a bunch of different spices. And then I added bone broth into the meat along with a big spoonful of this probiotic cream cheese to make it like really creamy. But it's still like a healthier option and then we have the tortillas right here i'm gonna do lettuce on the side and then i just made some of this rice and i have black beans guac and some pico waking up the house for the day. I have to open up all the shades, put some laundry in. It's Monday now, Labor Day. I just still feel so relaxed that I am waking up. Like this long weekend has felt so nice because obviously I didn't go anywhere. This was like the first holiday weekend that I like haven't traveled or gotten somewhere. So it's been so nice to just be home and like relax. I was looking at the comments on the video that I was scared to post yesterday and so many of you guys were commenting the sweetest stuff and I just wanted to say thank you and I really appreciate it and I don't know why sometimes I let like negative comments get to my head because there's so many more positive comments and I just feel like I am so grateful to have such a strong community and I have just felt like the love ever since I started YouTube and I read all my comments on my videos on my Instagram I don't know if it's like if that's a bad thing, but I may not be able to respond to all of them All the time, but I do see everything Sorry if I'm talking weird, it's because I don't have anything on my lips and I like need to have lip balm on my lips If I'm talking or else I like can't talk and I like my words like don't come out the right way but anyway i just want to say thank you so much for commenting on that vlog because it made me feel so much better and i just feel the love and i just love you guys so much and i really appreciate you so i just want to say that and i just want to let you guys know how much i really do love you and yeah because i feel like if i don't like say it as often i do think about it all the time and i just am so lucky and i'm so grateful so yeah but anyway I'm gonna make some lemon water. I have been letting myself sleep in this weekend. Normally I like to get up at like 7, 7.30, walk the dogs and have like my time to myself in the morning. I like to do like my meditation and just have time to just sit and kind of like decompress and like wake up and you know, do all the things that are gonna make me inspired. But I have been sleeping in just this weekend, just letting myself, I'm like, you know what? 
I don't need to get up at 7 o'clock and then be sitting around all day. <laughs> so I've been sleeping till like 8.30, 9. And it's been so good for my body. I just feel like my body has been absolutely exhausted. I think ever since the super blue moon or whatever, and then Venus retrograde, Mercury retrograde, there was like so much stuff that I felt like I was just, my body was so tired from all of it. And I was really feeling it. So it felt really nice to just sleep and recharge. But I am excited to wake up this week, well, tomorrow after the holiday's over. And, and just like get back into it. Get back in my routine. I feel like that's the beauty of being on a routine. Just like knowing how good it makes you feel. I feel like that's what keeps me motivated to keep doing it. Because the days that I fall off, I'm like, the days that I give myself grace. I don't want to say fall off because I'm not like, I'm choosing <laughs> to do this. So the days that I give myself grace, I think are necessary because it makes you appreciate the things that make you feel good even more. And uh, yeah, you guys know the deal. Celtic salt has so many minerals in it. So good to have in the morning. For hydration and then I do some lemon and oh I'm boiling water and I literally had it on low I'm, I'm making a matcha for Mac and I have this Sun Life matcha which is so good I love it I also like the peak tea one that one's my favorite as well but I got this one when I was in Miami and I went to the Sun Life store they have the best matcha if you're somewhere that has a sun life and hold on I can't do this with one hand mine is a little bit clumpy so I've seen people do this on TikTok, and I never I was like yeah whatever like you don't need to get all the clumps out of your matcha you can just do it with the little whisk but it really I swear changes it when you do it with a little strainer because I've tried to do it with the whisk and it just doesn't work the same so I like to just get all the little clumps out I'm gonna add some water just warm water to it to help mix the matcha up i really need to be better about having like some sort of breakfast before i have my coffee because it's really not good for you to have coffee on an empty stomach and i've been doing it for a while this summer and it's just I feel like I, I need to just stop doing that. So I'm gonna make a little smoothie. We have banana, frozen banana. I like to get bananas and then I don't like just eat like ripe bananas. I don't know why I never just like reach for them and eat them. So I let them sit on my counter until they get like all spotted. Then freeze them because it makes them a lot sweeter. And I feel like those are the bananas that are perfect for smoothies. You don't wanna just buy like very ripe bananas and then freeze those. And then I'm gonna add some strawberries, blueberries. Also, I noticed the dates that I bought yesterday weren't pitted. They had the pit in them, so. I just used the last of my pitted ones. I threw two of them in here. Okay, then we're gonna add some coconut yogurt, a vanilla, cocoa june. Last but not least, some protein powder, which I literally have like none left, so I'm just gonna put the rest of that in there. Oh my You have to stop being bad and fresh. You hear that? I just did a little meditation and watched a YouTube video. I need to get ready for the day so bad. Well, I need to wash my hair, but my problem is, is that the shampoo and conditioner that I have is like the weirdest. Makes my hair feel so heavy and weird. It also has the weirdest smell to it. And I don't like it at all. <laughs> so... I really want to go get new shampoo and conditioner. I love the Necessaire shampoo and conditioner. I'll show you guys what I use right now. So this is like my shower lineup. I have my face washes right here. Milo's soap for 
or when he showers. And then these are all hair and body products. So this is the shampoo I've been using from Goop. It's the amino acid shampoo and conditioner. I don't love the scent of it and also it leaves my hair feeling very heavy. And I love the Necessaire body wash. I really love their shampoo and conditioner and I really wanna to go to Sephora and pick it up. Also, I want to go pick up, which I feel like I should just use this because I feel like it's such a waste. But I love the OC body oil. This one kind of just like makes my body feel sticky. I like the body polish, like the exfoliator. This is just not my favorite and that's not my favorite also. So yeah, I really want to shower though and wash my hair because it's feeling like heavy, but I can't because I don't have any shampoo and conditioner other than that one. I really don't want to use it again. So we're going to have to just go venture out and go to Sephora. Also, I am in the process of cleaning my closet. I really need to organize it today and clean it out. I want to try on all the jeans I have because I don't wear all of them and I feel like I always just like gravitate towards the same pairs. So I want to go through these. I have like just a bunch of random stuff thrown like on the tops and then all these pants right here. I want to go through all this stuff and just, you know, organize. I also have a huge basket. I don't even know what's in that basket. And I need to organize my shoes because I don't have a lot of space for all of them like i have these two pairs that i just got just right here and um, i have some up there that i don't even wear like my dior converse i haven't worn those in like years and i'm like do i really need those or should i just sell them i don't know I, this is like such a hard decision because i'm like is that something that i'm gonna want like in the future or no probably not but i don't know so we're gonna also do my closet today i just got back from sephora i got a bunch of good stuff. I got two of the travel size of the necessary. I got the hair essentials one and then I also got this one for the body. And then I got the shampoo that I was talking about and a few lip products. I got this Summer Fridays tinted lip balm, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, and then I got two Makeup Forever lip liners. I got Anywhere Caffeine and then Wherever Walnut. And then I got Laneige lip mask and this Lawless lip mask that I've never tried before. It's cherry vanilla. So I'm excited about that. I also stopped at Whole Foods and picked up some stuff for dinner. But while I was there, I got this sushi, which I used to get all the time when I lived across the street from Whole Foods. I would always walk over there and get this. It's the vegetable like spring roll and then the cucumber avocado. And it's so good. Also tip, if you come home with any food that you got when you were out, put it on a normal plate because I swear it makes it taste so much better <laughs> if you like present it this way. When I go out to sushi, my favorite part is just eating the ginger. And I didn't know until recently that the ginger is like a palate cleaner. So you're supposed to eat it in between so it like cleanses your palate when you're eating like different types of sushi. And I love putting a ton of wasabi into my soy sauce and getting it all nice and spicy. Also put a little bit on top too because I'm like crazy and I love when stuff is like really spicy. <laughs> mm-hmm. feels so good to have this area cleaned out. I need to bring these two big boxes down to the basement because it has all of my summer clothes in here, just like dresses and more summery stuff that I'm definitely not gonna be wearing until next year or if I go on vacation. And then in here I have a bunch of extra scarves and stuff and like sweater dresses. I don't know, I, I need to go through that, but now's not the time. <laughs> and I have ski stuff right here, which I'm gonna put away downstairs also. And I want to show you guys an update of the closet because 
I cleaned out that bucket and I can already feel, I already feel so much better. And I put away all of my clothes, organized all my pants right here, skirts, denim. Right here I have like long skirts and dresses. And then I have obviously all my boots up here, sweaters and tops. And then I just have like some basics and then some sweatshirts. I put the big hangers that have the little clips so I can hang my pants on the bottom. And then I just have all of my other hangers right here that I'm not using. And I just wanted to keep everything super organized. And so I put them in there. I also organized my shoes a little bit. I still need to go through because I want to get those sneakers down off the top. But I don't really feel like doing it right now. Because I want to clean up. Now that this area is clean, I want to clean up all the clothes that I took out that I'm getting rid of. And put those in bags and put them in my car and then in here I just have jackets blazers all of my handbags right here in cubbies on the side and it just feels so good and then I have a huge mountain of stuff that I am going to be getting rid of right here so I need to bag everything up and it's going to be on my Poshmark within probably the next couple of weeks okay you guys I think I'm going to end off this vlog because I really want to do all the stuff that I just told you. I was gonna do like put all of the clothes away and then like put them in bags, bring them to my car, bring that stuff to the basement. I'm gonna do a sauna, I'm gonna cook dinner and I'm just gonna relax because I feel like I just need to like do nothing for the rest of the night. I'm gonna end off this vlog but I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of footage for this vlog I feel like I was consistently like vlogging and making it a point to like pick up my camera all weekend and I am just excited to see all the clips together and I'm excited to like rewatch everything back and then for you guys to see this weekend and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the last weekend of summer in Boston and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the fall vlogs follow me on Instagram TikTok all of that and I will see you in my next video bye